Hey guys, it's Jaden over BHA here bringing you a new video. All right, so um, if you have used blue iris at all, or if you're like me and you have crappy cameras, you're stuck using blue iris if you want to be able to integrate anything into Home Assistant. Nonetheless, blue iris's web interface is pretty lacking. There's not a whole lot to it. It's pretty basic. As you can see here, basically just uh, look at your cameras and you can then, of course, replay some of the alerts and stuff that it has recorded and that's pretty much it that being said this guy here bp 2008 uh, wrote a new custom web interface for blue iris which i think is awesome basically if you're using blue iris at all you definitely need to check out this user interface there's not a whole lot to this tutorial. Let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover. Basically, we are just going to uh, download UI2. Uh, once it's downloaded, basically, then we're just going to copy the files over to the right directory. And then, of course, lastly, I'm just going to kind of show you what that looks like. So let's get started. Uh, so like I said, uh, for starters, we're going to download UI2 uh, off of uh, his GitHub page. And I'll put the link down in the description below so you can just copy and paste it in there. But we're going to go to the releases area of his GitHub page and download the latest version. It should download pretty quick. Once that's downloaded, we're ready to move over to the next step. All right, so basically uh, we're going to copy these over to the Blue Iris directory. So we're going to go to uh, C colon, uh, C program files, Blue Iris, and then like I said, there's a www directory in there. Take everything that's in the zip file that you downloaded, copy it over to the www directory. If it says you have any duplicates, it's okay. Just go ahead and copy everything over. Once it's done, you uh, you basically have UI2 installed. That's all you have to do. Pretty simple setup here. Not even sure why I'm doing this video. All right, let's move over to the last step. Lastly, uh, just kind of show you what that looks like um, in action here. So as you can see here, there's a little bit more to it. Uh, it actually has your CPU percentage and memory usage at the top. You can see all of your cameras. You can click on any of them and it'll go full screen. And then of course it has all of your alert uh, or recorded clips there on the side that you can select any of those. It also has uh, settings on here. Some various things that you can change under the configuration of the website and everything. So definitely way more robust than the basic web interface of uh, Blue Iris. That's the end of the video, guys. That's it. Uh, like I said, this was a quick video. I just wanted to show you what I uh, had found for Blue Iris. So anybody out there that's using it, definitely you want to check out this web interface. It's small, easy to use. Uh, to me, totally better than the standard web interface for Blue Iris. So, so again, all we did in this video is we, we downloaded the files from uh, BP2008's GitHub page. Uh, once we did that, we copied them over to the www directory inside of our Blue Iris directory. And lastly, I just showed you what that looked like in action. All right, guys, like I said, that's it. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. They're probably a little more detailed than this one. Like I said, there's not a whole lot to this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't have out there, 
let me know. I'll add them to my list and see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.